This poem, by the way, was inspired by, um, well, in, in 1995, um, well, before that, my husband and a good friend of his went up to Lake Idaiza in the Sierras. Mm -hmm. And he, my husband came back saying it was the most beautiful place he'd ever been. And then in 95, um, we had planned a family trip to take our daughters up there who were about eight and 10 at that point. And, um, but my mother took very ill and it looked like she was dying. And so I was making trips back and forth to Arizona to be with her. And, um, but Jerry did take a little time and took the girls up there. And they all came back and said it was just this most gorgeous place. And then finally, in the summer of um, 2008, I made it there. I barely made it there, <laughs> having aged that much and, and so on. It was really a hard hike for me, but I did make it. So this is called Embracing Water for Lake Idaiza. Between darkness mountains and a brash white outpouring over rocks, a lake queen among mountain lakes, a lake in, uh, captures snowmelt in her bowl, a lake impossible to hold, though she can grasp the moon with one hand, with the other fish for the sun. She calls me at dawn. On her quivering blue-black belly swirls her encryptions. The golden fish jumps into view. The mountains brighten to maroon, medieval minarets, a fan, a wooden xylophone struck by light, glowingly rubbed warm with polish. Humbler formations, glowingly buttress sky. A bird instructs, look at me, look at every, every leaf. Long-awaited lake, scrambling sky and rock, olive, ochre, tan under glass, uh, sucklings at your shores, silver wind scratched. I ask only a small keepsake in words, a drop of evidence, like liquid quartz. Woo. <laughs>